Stanford University, officially Leland Stanford Junior University, is a private research university in Stanford, California. The campus occupies 8,180 acres, among the largest in the United States, and enrolls over 17,000 students. Stanford is ranked among the best universities in the world. Stanford was founded in 1885 by Leland and Jane Stanford, in memory of their only child, Leland Stanford Jr., who had died of typhoid fever at age 15 the previous year. Leland Stanford was a U.S. senator and former governor of California who made his fortune as a railroad tycoon. The school admitted its first students on October 1, 1891, as a coeducational and non-denominational institution. Stanford University struggled financially after the death of Leland Stanford in 1893 and again after much of the campus was damaged by the 1906 San Francisco earthquake. Following World War II, Provost Frederick Terman supported faculty and graduates' entrepreneurialism to build self-sufficient local industry in what would later be known as Silicon Valley. The university is organized around seven schools. Three schools consisting of 40 academic departments at the undergraduate level, as well as four professional schools that focus on graduate programs in law, medicine, education, and business. All schools are on the same campus. Students compete in 36 varsity sports, and the university is one of two private institutions in the Division IFBS Pac-12 Conference. Stanford has won 128 NCAA team championships, more than any other university, and was awarded the NACTA Directors' Cup for 25 consecutive years, beginning in 1994-1995. In addition, by 2021, Stanford students and alumni had won at least 296 Olympic medals, including 150 gold medals. As of April 2021, 85 Nobel laureates, 29 Turing Award laureates, and 8 Fields medalists have been affiliated with Stanford as students, alumni, faculty, or staff. In addition, Stanford is particularly noted for its entrepreneurship and is one of the most successful universities in attracting funding for startups. Stanford alumni have founded numerous companies, which combined produce more than $2.7 trillion in annual revenue and have created 5.4 million jobs as of 2011 roughly equivalent to the seventh-largest economy in the world, as of 2020. Stanford is the alma mater of one president of the United States, Herbert Hoover, 74 living billionaires. Stanford University was founded in 1885 by Leland and Jane Stanford, dedicated to the memory of Leland Stanford, Jr., their only child. The institution opened in 1891 on Stanford's previous Palo Alto farm, Jane and Leland Stanford modeled their university after the Great Eastern Universities, most specifically Cornell University in Ithaca, New York. Stanford was referred to as the Cornell of the West in 1891 due to a majority of its faculty being former Cornell affiliates, professors, alumni, or both, including its first president, David Starr Jordan, and second president, John Casper Branner. Both Cornell and Stanford were among the first to make higher education accessible, non-sectarian, and open to women as well as men. Cornell is credited as one of the first American universities to adopt that radical departure from traditional education, and Stanford became an early adopter as well. 58 From an architectural point of view, the Stanfords, particularly Jane, wanted their university to look different from the Eastern ones, which had often sought to emulate the style of English university buildings. They specified in the founding grant that the buildings should be like the old adobe houses of the early Spanish days, they will be one-storied, they will have deep window seats and open fireplaces, and the roofs will be covered with the familiar dark red tiles. This guides the campus buildings to this day. The Lelands also hired renowned landscape architect Frederick Law Olmsted, who previously designed the Cornell campus, to design the Stanford campus. When Leland Stanford died in 1893, the continued existence of the university was in jeopardy due to a federal lawsuit against his estate, but Jane Stanford insisted the university remain in operation throughout the financial crisis. The university suffered major damage from the 1906 San Francisco earthquake, most of the damage was repaired, but a new library and gymnasium were demolished, and some original features of Memorial Church and the Quad were never restored. During the early 20th century, the university added four professional graduate schools. Stanford University School of Medicine was established in 1908, when the university acquired Cooper Medical College in San Francisco, it moved to the Stanford campus in 1959. The university's law department, established as an undergraduate curriculum in 1893, was transitioned into a professional law school starting in 1908 and received accreditation from the American Bar Association in 1923. 
The Stanford Graduate School of Education grew out of the Department of the History and Art of Education, one of the original 21 departments at Stanford, and became a professional graduate school in 1917. The Stanford Graduate School of Business was founded in 1925 at the urging of then-trustee Herbert Hoover. In 1919, the Hoover Institution on War, Revolution and Peace was started by Herbert Hoover to preserve artifacts related to World War I. The SLAC National Accelerator Laboratory, originally named the Stanford Linear Accelerator Center, established in 1962, performs research in particle physics. In the 1940s and 1950s, engineering professor and later provost Frederick Terman encouraged Stanford engineering graduates to invent products and start their own companies. During the 1950s he established Stanford Industrial Park, a high-tech commercial campus on university land. Also in the 1950s William Shockley, co-inventor of the silicon transistor, recipient of the 1956 Nobel Prize for Physics, and later professor of physics at Stanford, moved to the Palo Alto area and founded a company, Shockley Semiconductor Laboratory. The next year eight of his employees resigned and formed a competing company, Fairchild Semiconductor. Stanford is a private, non-profit university administered as a corporate trust governed by a privately appointed board of trustees, with a maximum membership of trustees serve five-year terms, not more than two consecutive terms, and meet five times annually. A new trustee is chosen by the current trustees by ballot. The Stanford trustees also oversee the Stanford Research Park, the Stanford Shopping Center, the Cantor Center for Visual Arts, Stanford University Medical Center, and many associated medical facilities, including the Lucille Packard Children's Hospital. The board appoints a president to serve as the chief executive officer of the university, to prescribe the duties of professors and course of study, to manage financial and business affairs, and to appoint nine vice presidents. The 11th and current president of Stanford University is Mark Trevor Tessier Levine, a Canadian born neuroscientist. The provost is the chief academic and budget officer, to whom the deans of each of the seven schools report. Persis Drell became the 13th provost in February 2017. As of 2018, the university was organized into seven academic schools. The schools of humanities and sciences, 27 departments, engineering, 9 departments, and earth, energy and environmental sciences, 4 departments, have both graduate and undergraduate programs, while the schools of law, medicine, education and business have graduate programs only. The powers and authority of the faculty are vested in the academic council, which is made up of tenure and non-tenure line faculty, research faculty, senior fellows in some policy centers and institutes, the president of the university, and some other academic administrators, but most matters are handled by the faculty senate, made up of 55 elected representatives of the faculty. The Associated Students of Stanford University, ASU, is the student government for Stanford, and all registered students are members. Its elected leadership consists of the undergraduate senate elected by the undergraduate students, the graduate student council elected by the graduate students, and the president and vice president, elected as a ticket by the entire student body. The university's endowment, managed by the Stanford Management Company, was valued at $27.7 billion as of August 31, 2019. Payouts from the Stanford Endowment covered approximately 21.8% of university expenses in the 2019 fiscal year. In the 2018 Nakubo Taya survey of colleges and universities in the United States and Canada, only Harvard University, the University of Texas System, and Yale University had larger endowments than Stanford. In 2006, President John L. Hennessy launched a five-year campaign called the Stanford Challenge, which reached its $4.3 billion fundraising goal in 2009, two years ahead of time, but continued fundraising for the duration of the campaign. It concluded on December 31, 2011, having raised $6.23 billion and breaking the previous campaign fundraising record of $3.88 billion held by Yale. Specifically, the campaign raised $253.7 million for undergraduate financial aid, as well as $2.33 billion for its initiative in seeking solutions to global problems, $1.61 billion for educating leaders by improving K-12 education, and $2.11 billion for Foundation of Excellence, aimed at providing academic support for Stanford students and faculty. Funds supported 366 new fellowships for graduate students, 139 new endowed chairs for faculty, and 38 new or renovated buildings. The new funding also enabled the construction of a facility for stem cell research, a new campus for the business school, 
an expansion of the law school, a new engineering quad, a new art and art history building, an on-campus concert hall, the new Cantor Arts Center, and a planned expansion of the medical school, among other things. Stanford is classified among R1, doctoral universities, very high research activity. The university's research expenditure in fiscal year 2021 was $1.64 billion. As of 2016 the Office of the Vice Provost and Dean of Research oversaw 18 independent laboratories, centers, and institutes. Other Stanford-affiliated institutions include the SLAC National Accelerator Laboratory, originally the Stanford Linear Accelerator Center, the Stanford Research Institute, an independent institution which originated at the university, the Hoover Institution, a conservative think tank, and the Hasso Plattner Institute of Design, a multidisciplinary design school in cooperation with the Hasso Plattner Institute of University of Potsdam that integrates product design, engineering, and business management education. Citation needed Stanford is home to the Martin Luther King Jr. Research and Education Institute, which grew out of and still contains the Martin Luther King Jr. Papers Project, a collaboration with the King Center, to publish the King Papers held by the King Center. It also runs the John S. Knight Fellowship for Professional Journalists and the Center for Ocean Solutions, which brings together marine science and policy to address challenges facing the ocean. Together with UC Berkeley and UC San Francisco, Stanford is part of the Biohub, a new medical science research center founded in 2016 by a $600 million commitment from Facebook CEO and founder Mark Zuckerberg and pediatrician Priscilla Chan. In United States college ranking measures Stanford ranks high, sometimes first, see infoboxes above. Slate in 2014 dubbed Stanford as the Harvard of the 21st century. The New York Times in the same year concluded Stanford University has become America's it school by measures that Harvard once dominated. From polls of college applicants done by the Princeton Review, every year from 2013 to 2020 the most commonly named dream college for students was Stanford, separately, parents too, most frequently named Stanford their dream college. Globally Stanford is also ranked among the top universities in the world, see infoboxes above. The academic ranking of world universities, ARWU, ranked Stanford second in the world, after Harvard, most years from 2003 to 2020.